In this video, we will learn about lines and spaces. So, a line L in 3D space can be, be determined by specifying a vector parallel to a straight line and a point on a straight line. Okay. So, this is the situation on how to find equation for line in spaces. Okay. So, for vector equation of a straight line, our formula is fixed R equal to A plus DV. Provided that R is basically X, Y, Z, our axis. And then A is basically point on a line. And then V is our direction vector. So, let's illustrate this formula in our axis. So, we would have three axes which is x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. And now let's say we have a line in our dimension. So this is our line that we want to find the equation. Okay, so our r is vector from that line to the origin. That would be r. A is basically position vector from the origin to any point on our um, on our line. And V would be the direction vector of our line. So that's how we get R equal to A plus T V. T in this case would be a scalar. Any scalar multiplication with our direction vector. So, that's the situation of R equal to A plus TV. So, for equation, we have three different types of equation. Which are, first one would be vector equation. So, all these will follow the same formula of R equal to A plus TV. So, for vector equation, we will provide our equation in the form of I, J and K. Where x1, y1 and z1 in this case is our position vector or point given in the question. That would be A. And then A, B and C in this case would be our direction vector or V. Okay, next one in the form of parametric equation. So, for parametric equation, we just split our equation into three different equation. Comes from R. R is basically, as I said before, we would be X, Y, and Z. So, for X equation, we only take X, sorry, I element. That's how we get X1 plus TA. So, for Y, we just take J element. That's how we get Y1 plus TB. And for Z, we take K element. That's how we get Z1 plus TC. And then last one for Cartesian equation or sometimes also known as symmetric equation. I write it down here. Symmetric equation. We will rearrange from parametric into Cartesian by um, make our T as the main subject. So that's how we get X minus X1 over A equal to Y minus Y1 over B. Uh, equal to Z minus Z1 over C. So that's three different types of equation for line in space. Now we will do some example regarding this. There's a few types of situation uh, that we came out in our example in order to find the vector equation of line in space. So, example 20, we have a vector to find the vector equation, parametric equation and Cartesian equation of the following situation. So, we have line L passes through 1, negative 2 and 3. So, that is a point from here you will know that this is basically our position vector for A and parallel to 4i plus 5j minus 6k and that would be our direction vector or v so once we already know the a and v straight away substitute this into formula our formula is fixed r equal to a plus d v since the question asks for three different forms so let's do it one by one start with the first one we have vector equation 
So for vector equation form, R, you just leave it as it is, R. And then for A, change our point into position vector. So we would have I minus 2J plus 3K plus with T. So and then last one for V, you just copy back our direction vector. So for I plus 5J minus 6K. So that is for vector equation form. Second one, question asks for parametric equation form. So for parametric, remember we have to split this up into three different equations, x, y and z. So for x, just take element i. So we would have 1 plus 40. And then next one for y, take the coefficient for element j. So we would have negative 2 plus 5t. And then last one for z, take the coefficient for k. So we would get 3 minus 60. Settle. That's for parametric equation. Okay. Next one, we would find in the form of Cartesian equation. So number 3, Cartesian equation. For this one, we have to rearrange to make T as our main subject. And then one by one, for the first one for X, if we make T as our main subject, we will get X minus 1 over 4. Equal to rearrange for Y, so we will get Y plus 2 over 5. And then last one, rearrange for Z, so Z minus 3 over negative 6. Okay. So that's all three forms of equation for line in space. We only have three different equations, vector equation, parametric equation, and Cartesian equation. All these three comes from the same formula, which is R equal to A plus TV. Okay, so let's do another example with different situation. In this case, we have to find a vector equation of a line that contains both point A and B. Alright, so in this case, we have a problem because they didn't straight away stated which one is a position vector, which one is a direction vector. So, if this happened, we have to decide on our own which one going to be our position vector. So, we have two options here. Option number one, if we decide to make A as our position vector. So, if we choose our line to start with point A, means that our A would be OA. Change point A into a position vector. And our direction vector would be from point A to point B. So, AB. How do we find AB? Remember our formula, point belakang tolak point depan. So we would now get negative 2, 1, 3 minus with OA. So 1, 2, 3. Simplify this up, we would get negative 3, negative 1, 0. Okay, so next, in order to find the vector equation, just straight away substitute this up into our formula R equal to A plus TV. So R stay as it is. A, our position vector is point A. So we would have I plus 2J plus 3K plus with T times V. V in this case is our direction vector, which is negative 3I minus J. So that's for the first option. Alright, next for the second option, we can choose B to be our position vector. Means in this case, our A would be position vector of OB. Means we begin our line at point B. Okay, so if this happen, our direction vector would be from point B to point A. So it would be BA. So, in order to find BA, it would be OB, sorry, OA minus OB. So, our answer here should be 3, 1, 0. And now, same as before, directly substitute this into the formula. So, our vector equation would be R equal to 
A is point B, so negative 2i plus j plus 3k plus with p and our v is 3i plus j. Okay, so that is two options in order to find vector equation of a line when it comes to two given point in our situation. Tak perlu tunjuk dua-dua tau kalau soalan ni tak ni saya tunjuk kita ada dua pilihan jawapan. Uh, boleh pilih mana-mana satulah. Sama ada awak nak mula kat point A, go to B. Kita lukislah sikit. Okay, kalau first situation ni kita ada point A pergi ke point B. So bermula kepada A pergi ke B. Kalau second situation, it's the other way around. Bermula kat point B pergi ke point A. Uh, lain situation dia tu. So that's how we find our equation. Dua-dua pun betul because the situation didn't mention dia bermula kat point yang mana. Okay. Yang penting jangan salah partner. Tak boleh awak bermula dekat A. So your vector A is OA but then direction awak BA. Uh, bermula kat A, tiba-tiba direction B yang pergi A. Itu dah salah. Okay. Yang tu tak boleh. Alright. Settle with this situation. Next example. We have a straight line L. Contain point 312. Bila nampak je point, kita dah tahu dah. That would be our position vector. Okay. And it's parallel to y axis. State the vector equation of a straight line. So now our situation, they didn't mention directly what is our direction vector or our v. But then our criteria would be parallel to y axis. So let's illustrate this. We have three different axes. X, y and z. And now our situation is it's parallel to y axis. Something like this. Okay. So, from here, um, let's do another colour lah. Saya tukar colour lain sikit yang biar nampak jelas sikit. Merah boleh kot. Ah, uh, okay. So, that is the line that we want to find the equation. Okay, from this, what do we do? Apa yang kita nampak kat situ, apa yang kita boleh nampak from our diagram is basically x would be zero. Sebab dia duduk atas paksi Y ni. Parallel with Y axis. X would be 0. Okay. Y would be 1 because it's parallel with Y axis. And then Z also would be 0. Okay. Itu yang dia nak bagi tahu when it comes to parallel to Y axis. Only Y element or J element have coefficient. The rest would be 0. Okay. Once we obtain this straight away, you may substitute into the formula of R equal to A plus TV. So, we would get 3I plus J plus 2K plus with uh, J. TJ, sorry. T times J. Okay. Settle. So, that's the situation when it comes to parallel to y-axis. So, what we can conclude here, if it's parallel to y-axis, means our v will be 0, 1, 0. And it follow for and the other two axes. If it's parallel to x-axis, then our v will be 1, 0, 0. And if it's parallel to z-axis, means our v would be 0, 0 and 1. So that's the situation in order to find our direction vector when it state that it is parallel to certain axis. Okay, next example. Find the vector equation of a straight line passes through the point. So this is for sure our point. Automatically that would be A. And parallel to the line with vector equation of this means in this case, now let's say we have a line, I name it as L1. What's the question asked for? We have uh, A here in our case. And then we have another line, L2, that is parallel to L1. So when it is parallel what the question want to inform us, it is basically we share the same V. 
we share the same direction vector. So, direction vector for L2 would be the same as direction vector for L1 as it is parallel to each other. So, that would be our V. Once we get these two info, straight away substitute into the formula. So, we would have R equal to 2I plus, sorry, 2J, not 2I. 2J plus 3K would be plus with T times with 2I minus J plus K. Okay. Macam banyak sangat je pattern kita buat vector equation, saya tambahlah sikit. Let's say we want to find parametric equation from this. So, parametric equation, remember, we would have three main element. Kita asyik buat vector equation je kan, tak cari pula yang lain. So, parametric equation, we would have three main element. Remember, x, y and z. So, for x, we take coefficient for i, so 2t. Next one for y coefficient for j that's how we get 2 minus t and then last one for z coefficient for uh, k so we have 3 plus t. Okay and let's do for Cartesian form. So for Cartesian form remember rearrange in the uh, to make t as our main subject so for first one we would have x over 2 equal to y would be y plus 2 over negative 1 and then last one for z would be z minus 3 over 1. So in order to find parametric equation and Cartesian equation first you must find vector equation first. Dah dapat bentuk vector equation boleh transform pergi parametric. Dah dapat bentuk parametric boleh transform pergi bentuk Cartesian. Okay. Next situation. So, we have a line that has Cartesian equation as stated. We have to find the first one, a vector equation for a parallel line passing through the point with a position vector 5i minus 2j minus 4k. So, vector given in the question is a position vector. Jangan confuse, that would be our A. And then, this line is parallel to the line that given first means we share the same direction vector. So in Cartesian form, which part would be the uh, sorry the direction vector? The denominator part. That would be our direction vector. So straight away from here, we may find the vector equation r equal to a is 5i minus 2j minus 4k plus tv so our direction vector from the question would be 3i plus 4j plus 5k settle okay next one the coordinate of the point on the line where y equal to 0 okay so if we want to find coordinate if the question asks for for a coordinate of something, transform it into parametric first. Okay, ingat je. Nampak je coordinate, transform dulu pergi bentuk parametric equation. Okay, so if we transform this into parametric equation, we would have first one x would be 5 plus 3t. Next one, y would be negative 2 plus 4t. And last one, z would be negative 4 plus 5t. Okay, we have to find a coordinate. Coordinate means x, y, z. So, we already obtained these three equations, x, y, and z, where y equal to 0. So, from this, we know when y equal to 0, so negative 2 plus 4t should be 0. In this case, T would be uh, half. Okay. Bila kita dah tahu T half, just substitute back T into X and Z to find X coordinate and Y, eh, sorry, Z coordinate. So for X, we have 5 plus 3 times half. So we should get 13 over 2 here. And then for Z is negative 4 plus 5 times half. And we should get negative 3 over 2 here. Why? For y coordinate, you didn't have to find it because already mentioned in the question, 
y is basically 0. Okay. So, finally, for final answer, remember, if it's coordinate, it will be in point, oh, sorry, bracket form. So, our coordinate will be 13 over 2, 0, negative 3 over 2. Okay. So, this is another situation of our line in space situation. Okay. First, the question asks to find the vector equation. That would be a problem. I would have nampak from there. Which one is your A? Which one is your V? And then next one. If the question asks a four coordinate, in any situation, nampak je dia minta coordinate, remember terus transform into parametric equation. Why? Because parametric equation will have three different elements, X, Y, and Z. And that would be our coordinate. Coordinate means x, y, and z. So, parametric je yang ada x, y, and z. Okay. After that, just follow the situation. What's provided in the question. In this case, they give y equal to 0. So, if y equal to 0, simplify, we will get t would be half. Once we get t equal to half, substitute back into x and z to obtain our coordinate. Settle. Okay. All right. Next one, we have to show the line with vector equation given L1 with vector equation is perpendicular to L2 with a Cartesian equation. Okay, so means in this case, L1 and L2 would be perpendicular to each other. So remember, how do we prove this? Our dot product must be zero. So, which vector that we need to choose to perform the dot product or scalar product, kita tak boleh pilih point. Means in this case, cannot use our position vector. Kita mesti pilih vector yang bergerak sebab dia bukan daripada origin. So, we must choose our direction vector. So, what do we do here? We must perform dot product between direction vector of L1 with direction vector of L2. Okay. So, what is direction vector for L1? V for L1, if you remember the position, R equal to A plus TV. So, our V in this case will be 2, 1, negative 1. And then what is the direction vector for L2? This is in the Cartesian form. Direction vector lies on denominator part. That would be 3, negative 2 and 4. So, simplify this up. We get 6 minus 2 minus 4 final answer 0 so since this dot product equal to 0 we may conclude that l1 are perpendicular to l2 okay settle for this situation uh, the application of it lah concept to prove a perpendicular vector you already learned from previous subtopic the dot product must be zero so in this situation kita kena apply sikit lah kita ada equation of a line so make sure you choose the correct vector choose our v the direction vector and not choose our a bukan yang ambil position vector Kenapa? Sebab position vector tarik daripada origin. Tak nampaklah between the line tu. So, kena ambil dia punya direction vector. Okay. Alright. Next one. For line, question can ask to find the angle between these two. So, our formula basically the same as V4. We already learned this in previous subtopic too on how to find the angle between two vector. Just remember when it comes to angle between two straight line, choose our direction vector. That's why our theta will be our cos of V1 dot V2 divided by its magnitude. Mesti ambil direction vector. Jangan ambil position vector. Mesti ambil V bukannya ambil A. Okay, let's do example. So we have a vector equation of a true straight line. Uh, where T and S are scalar, ingat T dengan S tu scalar je, tak boleh lama apa Find the acute angle between that two straight lines. So, remember we must choose our direction vector. So, direction vector ikut yang mana? Yang belakang. Okay. <coughs> so, in order to substitute this into the formula, saya terus je lah masuk dalam formula. Theta will be a cos between 
first direction vector, so 1, 3, negative 3, dot with the second direction vector is 1, 2, negative 4, divided by its magnitude, so first one would be 1 plus 9 plus 9, second one would be 1 plus 4 plus 16. Boleh je terus tekan calculator or you may simplify this up first. Dot product for numerator part would be 1 plus 6, 7, 7 plus with 12. So we should get 19 there. Divided by magnitude of the first one should be set of 19. And magnitude of the second direction vector would be 21. Okay, after that straight away compute this into your calculator, your angle in this case should be 17.98. Double check with the question. The question asks to find the acute angle and this satisfy our condition. Let's say the question asks for an obtuse angle. They tak nak acute, they nak obtuse. What do we do? 180 minus our answer. Dapatlah jawapan obtuse. Okay, settle for the first one. Okay, let's do another example. 27, we have to find acute angle between L1 and L2. So, same as before, make sure you choose our direction vector. So, for first one, L1, this is vector equation. So, direction vector lies at the back. And then next one for L2, our direction vector must be on denominator part. So same as before, straight away compute this into our formula. First direction vector would be 2, 3 and 4. Second direction vector would be 1, 2 and negative 4. Okay. And then magnitude of the first one would be 4 plus 9 plus 16. Magnitude of the second one is 1 plus 4 plus 16. Simplify this up. This is basically a cos of negative 8 divided by set of 29 times with set of 21. Okay. So compute this into your calculator, you should get 108.91. Okay, we have a problem here because once again, the question asks to find acute angle. So in order to find acute angle, acute for theta, remember your trigo concept, it should be 180 minus with our angle just now. So, final answer in this case should be 71.08. Uh, concept dia senang je. Make sure you choose the correct factor. Lagi sekali highlight, choose your direction vector. Just straight away, compute into the formula. And then check balik. If the question asks to find acute angle, make sure it would be less than 90 degree. Okay. Alright, next one. Find the acute angle between the line. Okay, so we have to choose the V, remember, vector yang belakang, and x-axis. Okay, ingat tak tadi, x-axis punya direction. So, if it's x-axis, coefficient for x only. We would get 1, 0, 0. That's the direction vector for x-axis. Okay, so dah boleh lah substitute into the formula. So, our cos of uh, 3 negative 0.1 dot with 1 o o. So divided by first one would be magnitude of 9 plus 1 plus 1. Second one would be 1. So this is basically a cos of 3 divided by 11. Straight away our answer should be 25.24. Senang je. Kan macam senang. Senang kalau awak faham x-axis tu apa vektor dia. Kalau tak faham x-axis tu nak dapatkan dia punya vektor, then problem jugalah stuck kat situ. Okay. Next one, last question for line in space. We have to find the acute angle between the line with equation. Remember, nampak je vector equation, kita mesti pakai dia punya direction yang belakang. And the line which parallel to the vector i plus j minus 2k. So straight away that would be the second vector. Okay. 
So as before, straight away compute this into the formula. So first one would be 1, negative 1, 4. Dot with the second vector is 1, 1, negative 2. So first vector magnitude 8 would be 1 plus 1 plus 16. The second one would be 1 plus 1 plus 4. Simplify this up. This should be a cos of negative 8. Okay, divided by set of 18, set of 6. Okay, and then compute this using calculator, you may get 140.34. So since the question was again asked for the acute angle, so 180 minus with our answer, in this case final answer should be 39.66. Okay, that's all.